ionization enthalpy dear student you are genius enough to understand that chemical reactions involve making and breaking of bonds such bonds formed by complete transfer of electron from one atom to another is called ionic bond or electrovalent bond this means that electron from one atom is removed and then accepted by another atom introduction to term ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy definitely to remove an electron amount of energy will be needed this energy is the ionization enthalpy also known as ionization energy the amount of energy required to remove electron from an isolated gaseous atom from its ground state is called ionization enthalpy in gaseous state atoms are separated from each other at wider distance due to this interaction between atoms is negligible so atoms are considered as isolated and it is easy to remove electron from isolated gaseous atom the term ground state suggests that electrons in an atom are in lowest possible energy level the si unit for ionization enthalpy is kilojoules per mole and denoted by delta h the energy required to remove first electron from the free atom is called as first ionization enthalpy similarly energy needed to remove second electron is second ionization enthalpy likewise to remove third electron there is third ionization enthalpies after removing first electron number of electron decreases in an ion with respect to its parent atom but nuclear charge on ion remains same as parent atom due to this attractive forces between the nucleus and electrons increases hence electrons get tightly held by nucleus so it becomes difficult to remove next electron hence to remove second electron more energy is required than that of its previous electron even more energy is needed to remove third electron in short we can say that ionization enthalpy increases with removal of number of electrons that is third ionization enthalpy is greater than second ionization enthalpy which is greater than first ionization enthalpy and so on dear students as there is need to supply energy from external source to remove electron hence ionization enthalpy is always positive in this context we say that the process of ionization is endothermic i hope you have clearly understood the concept of ionization enthalpy in the next video we will discuss about factors affecting ionization enthalpy